Buster.fans, Earlblogbook.com, back with the Atari 5200 version of Dig Dug. I'm going to give this a spin. I don't think we've really dealt with the 5200 much yet, and that's an oversight on my part. I said, as one of my cats made a lot of noise. Graphically, it's not a huge improvement over the 2600 version. I mean, it's... I suppose it's better, but not by much. The audio elements of the game, however, are vastly improved over the 2600 version. Come back here, Puka. Darn you, Puka. Follow me, little Puka. To your doom. <clears throat> I was hoping to similarly similarly lead that Figar to his doom, but alas. I just had to wait to do that. Always eat your vegetables, kids. Unless they're killer tomatoes trying to attack you in a subterranean tunnel, and then you should destroy them with extreme prejudice. Okay, so let's try playing Dig Dug again on the 5200, see if I can play a better game. I'm, I'm normally a pretty good Dig Dug player. It's one of those games that I have actually... Um, absorbed a, a pretty good amount of the strategy on over the years, and as such can uh, play a reasonably good game. Escape for you this time, Puka. not the easiest to control game, but then nothing on the 5200 was because of those non-centering analog joysticks. Come on, little Puka buddies. Yeah, just kill them all. Get the veggies. Yeah, a thousand points. That's more than I would have gotten for killing the Puka. The Puka! I've never quite understood how this game 
failed to take off from a merchandising standpoint. And there aren't many characters in it, but what there are, uh, you could easily make plushies and stuff out of. I think there were some toys in Japan, but... Die. Die, all of you. Figar lives to Figar another day. Oh, so I can pump through the walls horizontally but not vertically. That's... okay. That's something that they just flat got wrong about this game. Yeah, I should be able to pump up through, you know, a thin, a thin layer of wall there. And more or less harmlessly take out those enemies. But that's not going to happen, is it? So there you have it, Dig Dug for the 5200, not not the best port ever. I mean, I'm not expecting it to be emulation, I'm not expecting it to be arcade perfect, but there are things about it such as not being able to pump up upward through a you know thin membrane of dirt and take out your enemies without them coming after you. That That is part of the fabric of the strategy of the arcade game, and it's missing here. They for whatever reason they didn't or couldn't implement that. And I, I really kind of have to dock some points on that count. Otherwise, it's it's a fair arcade port for its day. This was still just 1983. The hardware was getting better, but uh, not, a, not a huge amount better, at least not on Atari's watch. The ColecoVision version of this would have been probably uh, significantly better than the 5200 could manage. Thanks for watching.